Okay, that brings me to a discussion of specific neurotransmitters. So there are two basic categories of neurotransmitters. There's small molecule neurotransmitters and there are neuropeptides and proteins. These are large molecule neuropeptides. So the um, most significant example of a small molecule neuropeptide is acetylcholine. Now acetylcholine tends to be, um, it's a very simple molecule and it tends to be synthesized right in the bouton in the presynaptic terminal. Um, so it's synthesized and released right there. It's um, released quickly by a trigger and it's broken down in the synapse in the case of acetylcholine by cholinesterase, uh, acetylcholinesterase. So um, it's actually metabolized right in the synapse. So it's released quickly and it's broken down quickly. Gone quickly. Now neuropeptides and proteins, these are larger molecules. They're a lot harder to synthesize and they tend to be synthesized in the soma. And they are transported down the axon to the bouton. Okay, now these, um, when they are released into the synaptic cleft, they tend to hang around for a long time. And they aren't broken down generally. They, um, because they take so much time, um, they take so much energy to synthesize. They are usually um, taken up by a process of reuptake. So you've heard of the term um, serotonin reuptake. Serotonin is an example of a protein um, of a protein neuropep. Um, a protein neurotransmitter that's released into the um, into the synaptic cleft and um, and it is removed from the synaptic cleft through a process of reuptake. Now these neuropeptides and neurotransmitter proteins tend to be either IPSPs or EPSPs. whereas acetylcholine and other small molecules are um, just transmitters to transmit the action potential. And sometimes they do even more long-term things, like they may do things like stimulate uh, the postsynaptic membrane to synthesize or create um, new protein gates. So they may actually um, they may actually cause the postsynaptic membrane to create a greater concentration of ligand gated sodium channels, for instance. Um, so they can make um, they can actually stimulate a um, a functional change, a physical change that causes a functional uh, a functional change in the uh, postsynaptic membrane.